Welcome Flip Clock fans. We're right in the middle of a, and when I say we, I mean me. I'm right in the middle of a um, restoration of a, a Panasonic 6530. And I'm running into a little problem. And I'm about to show you. The first thing is when I bought the clock, it was listed as having, uh, it was the clock not working. So what I did was I investigated a little bit. And um, I took the uh, the motor apart. That's the motor right there, and that is the thing making all that noise. But I took the what turns out to be an electromagnet off the back, and that little sh thing there, the circular thing right here, is self-contained, and it goes inside of that magnet and spins the uh, motor. It is working, but it's making this, this terrific sound here. Um, it is sealed. It's a sealed motor. Um, so I had to figure out, I wanted to figure out what to do. So I, as I've told you many times, to do a good restoration, a lot of times you have to use two clocks. So I went ahead and took the motor apart on the other clock, just so I can get a look at what's going on. And um, I figured the sound seemed to be coming from the back. That would have been this sort of like this flywheel. And when that gets in that magnetic field, it turns. But uh, that didn't seem to be the problem. It seemed to be within the, the gears themselves. But I just couldn't pinpoint it. Now I'm shutting off that one clock. And what I'm going to do, hopefully, is not get shocked. Uh, for the first time playing with my flip clocks on camera. So I've got this energized and if the wheel goes into the magnet It is turning. Now it seems to be making that noise, but not at the same degree, because I've lubricated this up in there. It's hard to do. If I touch that magnet, it, it all sees up. So what I'm thinking about doing with the other clock is I'm going to, I believe it's oriented like this, so it's oriented like this, and I think I'm going to drill a hole in the top of the housing, because this is all covered up, I'm going to drill a hole in the top of the housing, and then I'm going to use some, uh, I've got some synthetic clock oil that has a like a long needle applicator and I'm gonna go in here and try to hit the various gears now I, I looped this up probably more than it needed to be but I'm thinking that they that's what they did when they made the clock and they sealed it and there was some stuff that looked like almost like fear no polish to seal I had to crack that off to get to this state now I suppose I could have um, oh I guess you could have drilled that out drilled out these things somehow pulled that out and then try to tap it. I really don't think that's going to be happening. I, I really don't think it was ever intended to do like that, anywhere near like that. So I believe if I, if I can drill me a hole about right here and I can apply some oil, we can stop this clock that you heard previously from making that noise. So all I have to do here, this one's not energized, so I'm not as, being as careful. So I'll just take these nuts off. I've got a, um, it's a 5.5 millimeter socket that seems to work really good. There's a little bit of play in there. I don't even actually, I think it's probably the right size. 
or some in between number because a 5 millimeter won't work. 5.5 works fine. You're not having to torque these down that that much anyway. And there's there's washers with there with that. I'll have to chase down. Okay, and just so you'll see the before picture, this is the motor self-contained with that stuff on there. I think I'm going to hit a little oil, a little dab up under here so it'll get up on that uh, little rod and then I'm going to come in about right here and drill me a hole carefully so I don't get those shavings down in there. Even if I did, honestly, um, this is not magnetic. That stuff would probably fall to the bottom here and not cause a problem, but I'll do it carefully. Put me a hole here and then start lubricating it. We'll come back here in a second and see if that's quieted it down. Like I said, otherwise you'd have to drill and tap that out. I don't think that's going to happen today. I'll be able to seal that hole up and then 10 years from now lubricate it again. If the world lasts that long. Okay, well we'll see how it goes with this uh, oiling here.